Sunrise Interviews is brought to you by Valley Strong Credit Union. All right, and joining us again on this Friday from Money Wise, as they've been doing for the past several months, we have Justin Leland to tell us a little bit more about what these new numbers mean. He's also going to talk about some other uh, numbers that we heard yesterday. Justin, good morning. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. All right, so let's talk about this unemployment report. Uh, uh, we dropped a full percentage point. 7.9% uh, in September was our unemployment rate. Now we're down to 6.9%. Uh, how are you feeling about the economy this morning? Yeah, honestly, the jobs number is actually very, very good. You know, normally uh, in, in a normal situation, a $200,000, $300,000 job gain in a month is considered to be very, very good. Uh, we have to temper this a little bit, though, with thinking, thinking about the 638,000 jobs added in October is because of COVID has obviously been a major concern. Um, so the, the roughly 20 million or 10 million jobs that we've lost over the COVID uh, timeframe we are gaining those back, but but as David said last week, many of those jobs have been lost permanently and it's going to take a long time for all of the jobs to be created to come back uh, to the pre-COVID numbers. So while this is a very good number, 638,000 jobs, and dropping the unemployment rate down to 6.9%, while that's very, very good, we do have to take it with a little bit of a grain of salt to see exactly how far we have fallen and how far we have come back. Yeah, and then yesterday, you know, we saw the weekly uh, new jobless claims at 751,000. Now, it, that's lower than we've seen, you know, in the past correct. several weeks, but that's still a lot of people losing their jobs. That is correct. And so, I mean, this is why we're looking at things with a little bit of a grain of salt, because uh, when you see, you know, the jobs numbers and jobs created numbers of, of 630, 640,000 jobs per month being added, but you're seeing a weekly jobless claims of 700,000, uh, it's, a, it's a lot of volatility in the job market right now. And we're waiting for a little bit of time to, uh, to see exactly how this stabilizes because 751,000 jobs weekly decline, uh, weekly job losses, it is a lot of job losses. Let's uh, on average, we should see, you know, maybe 100,000, wow. maybe you know, 50,000. So we are, we are seeing a very large number of initial jobless claims mm -hmm. uh, and, and those jobs, um, are, are they switching jobs because they're finding a better job or, or what? But those types of things are, are, are different. We're almost out of time here, but let's just switch gears real fast and talk about the Federal Reserve yesterday, their decision to uh, hold short-term borrowing rates near zero. What does that mean for the average consumer? Well, basically what happened was that, you know, the, the Fed's job is to keep inflation low and to uh, keep jobs, you know, uh, increase the number of jobs and then get us at full employment. Those types of things have been, been hampered by COVID. And so in March, they dropped the interest rates down to zero and they've left them there for a reason. And that they've left that there to basically try to increase economic activity, uh, to help to uh, bring jobs back and to also make it easier for, for consumers to borrow money. All right, Justin Leland with Money Wise Wealth Management. Thank you for being with us this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you very much, Maddie. We'll be right back.